not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. I'll never tell a lie. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. So this dude named Joshua Browder just developed a legal AI program, you know, artificial intelligence, that was supposed to help people fight traffic tickets in court. Now, when I first heard about this, I thought, oh, cool. You know, people, they need help in traffic court. Anything is better than telling the judge you were speeding because this guy, he passed you and your girlfriend was in the car. And so I had to go fast, your honor. Anything is better than that. But it turns out that this AI program, well, it never made it to traffic court anyway because they got shut down before they even started. Yeah, according to NPR, Mr. Browder received numerous threatening letters from different state bars saying it was the unauthorized practice of law. He could go to jail, yada, yada, yada. <sighs> Lawyers are so sensitive, man. <laughs> But, you know, there are also like everyone else who sees someone or something coming for their job. You know, they're freaking out a little bit. Now, it's true that, as these state bars point out, that legal AI does need some kind of regulation on it. I mean, Mr. Browder can't just go out giving unlicensed, questionable legal advice. I mean, who does he think he is? Google? Still, you know, sooner or later, AI, it is coming. But, you know, I don't think it's going to replace lawyers. I think it's just a low-cost alternative, which almost every other industry has. Think of it like the Spirit Airlines of legal services. Sure, you'll get there, but no promises on your luggage getting there, too. Until next time, this is Love Bite. See you then. <laughs>